Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is a presentation on a Vardian add-on called Vardian Calendar. Uh, I'm going to give a short overview on the API and give a few pointers for developers on how to use the component. So the calendar doesn't implement fields so you can't get the value from it. You can't use it to select the dates and it doesn't implement component container so you can't add your own components inside it. Uh, you can use it to view di uh, time ranges and the main point you can use it to show events, uh, modify them, delete them and so on. So what do you get as a default when you create a new calendar? You get this. So this is the component if you haven't seen it. Uh, it has a default time range of uh, one week. Uh, it has a lot of default functionality. Uh, almost all of the functionality in the component is provided with handlers. Uh, almost all of these handlers have default implementations. So for example, uh, navigation, you can kind of click these arrows here and you can move through weeks and you can, for example, click on these dates, dates and uh, so on. Uh, you can write your own handlers for all of these things uh, you can disable some of them if you want so you could for example uh, forbid the user from clicking dates and uh, restrict the navigation only to the uh, current month or something like that so the first thing you probably want to change when you're creating a new calendar is the visible time range. So in the previous example we had the time range of one week and here we have set the time range to one month. Uh, one thing to know about the time range is that it's, it is always expanded. So if we, if we would set Set, for example, the time range from uh, this Wednesday to this Wednesday. It would be expanded to the start of the first week to the uh, end of the last week. So we are always showing full weeks and uh, full days. If you if you try to show just a few hours, it is expanded to one day. So the events, uh, the calendar gets its events from a event provider. It is an interface and it also has a default implementation. The default implementation uses uh, an in-memory list. So it is, it's good for testing. You can easily add and remove events and so on. So here is some an example where we have set set an event provider provider and um, added some some events. So in in real usage, you probably want to implement your own event provider. For example, to retrie retrieve the events from a from database or from a service or something like that. It's an it's a pretty simple interface. It only has one method to to get uh, the events between two dates. So it's pretty easy to implement. Uh, the events themselves have an interface which has some some fields that are that are required. Uh, basically, they are all the visible attributes. Here, so 
the event interface has uh, the caption, the start and end date, the description, and a style name, so you can style the events. Uh, the description is shown as a tooltip, and the captions are shown here always. So when I talked about the uh, default handlers, we also have some default handlers for the events. So for example, for example, I can move move these events in the monthly view and in the weekly view I can do a bit more, I can move them of course, I can also resize them and that's that's the default implementation you can all of course implement your own for example when you click an e event you might want to show a pop-up or something like that uh, oh and one more attribute on the interface uh, we have all day events and uh, normal events so all day events are shown a bit differently on the UI and they don't uh, they don't have a have a time shown for example so so uh, one customization you probably uh, might want one customization you probably want to do is uh, change the uh, visible days or hours so one common usage scenario is that you only want to show the working days, the work days of one month and the uh, times from, for example, 8 to 4, 4 on the evening. So here we have exactly such, such a calendar where we show the whole month, but only the days from Monday to Friday are visible and when we view the uh, weekly view we see that only times from 8 to 4 are visible uh, this is one handler that doesn't have a default implementation but I want to show it off because I think it's a I think it's a cool feature so you can implement a range select handler and when you have implemented it you can select ranges of dates here. Here I have implemented a really simple simple handle so it's, it always creates a new event when you select a range. If you go and look at the online demo uh, there's a link in the directory page. There's a nice pop-up when you select a range and it asks, asks different things about the event and so on. So this is a really really just a simple example on what you can do. Uh, this is the last one. So if you're familiar with the uh, drag and drop support in Vardim, you'll know that that when when the calendar has a drop handler set, you can use it as a drop target. So you can drop stuff from other components to, to the calendar and when you do <coughs> when you do that you get the uh, the time slot to which it it was dropped so in the monthly view uh, the uh, drop targets are the days and uh, in the weekly weekly view they are they are the time slots uh, okay, I think that was all. Thank you.